a flight level is specific barometric pressure, expressed as a nominal altitude in hundreds of feet. The pressure is computed assuming an international standard sea level pressure datum of 1013.25 hectopascal, and therefore is not necessarily the same as the aircraft's true altitude either above mean sea level or above ground level. Background Historically, altitude has been measured using a pressure altimeter, which is essentially a calibrated barometer. An altimeter measures air pressure, which decreases with increasing altitude following the barometric formula, and from the surroundings pressure calculates and displays the corresponding altitude. To display altitude above sea level, a pilot must recalibrate the altimeter according to the local air pressure at sea level, to take into account natural variation of pressure over time and in different regions. If this is not done, two aircraft could be flying at the same altitude even though their altimeters appear to show that they are at considerably different altitudes. Flight levels solve this problem by defining altitudes based on a standard air pressure at sea level. All aircraft operating on flight levels calibrate to this setting regardless of the actual sea level pressure. Definition Flight levels are described by a number, which is this nominal altitude in feet, divided by 100, while being a multiple of 500 ft, therefore always ending on 0 or 5. Therefore an apparent altitude of, for example, 32,000 feet is referred to as flight level 320. To avoid collisions between two aircraft due to their being at the same altitude, their real altitudes are not important. It is the difference in altitudes that determines whether they might collide. This difference can be determined from the air pressure at each craft and does not require knowledge of the local air pressure on the ground. Flight levels are usually designated in writing as FLXXX, where XXX is a 1 to 3 digit number indicating the pressure altitude in units of 100 feet. In radio communications, floor 290 would be pronounced as flight level 290 in most jurisdictions. In some states, levels ending with OO or read as 100 floor 200 is pronounced as flight level 200. The phrase flight level makes it clear that this refers to the standardized pressure altitude. Transition altitude, while use of a standardized pressure setting facilitates separation of aircraft from each other, it does not provide the aircraft's actual height above ground. At low altitudes the true height of an aircraft relative to an object on the ground needs to be known. The pressure setting to achieve this is called QNH or altimeter setting, and is available from various sources, including air traffic control and the local METAR issuing station. The transition altitude is the altitude above sea level at which aircraft change from the use of altitude to the use of flight levels. When operating at or below the TA. Aircraft altimeters are usually set to show the altitude above sea level. Above the TA, the aircraft altimeter pressure setting is normally adjusted to the standard pressure setting of 1013 hectopascals or 29.92 inches of mercury and aircraft altitude will be expressed as a flight level. In the United States and Canada, the transition altitude is 18,000 AFT. In Europe, the transition altitude varies and can be as low as 3000 EFT. There are discussions to standardize the transition altitude within the Euro control area. On November 25, 2004 the Civil Aviation Authority of New Zealand raised New Zealand's transition altitude from 11,000 feet to 13,000 feet and changed the transition level from floor 130 to floor 150. The transition level is the lowest flight level above the transition altitude. The table on the right shows the transition level according to transition altitude and QNH. When descending below the transition level, the pilot starts to refer to altitude of the aircraft by setting the altimeter to the QNH for the region or airfield. Note that the transition level is, by definition, less than 500 AFT above the transition altitude. Aircraft are not normally assigned to fly at the transition level as this does not guarantee separation from other traffic flying at the transition altitude. The lowest usable flight level is the transition level plus 500 AFT. The transition layer is the airspace between the transition altitude and the transition level. In some countries, for example, Norway, the transition level is determined including a buffer of minimum 1000 AFT to the transition altitude. 
therefore aircraft may be flying at both transition level and transition altitude, and still be vertically separated by at least 1000 ft. In those areas the transition layer will be a given vertical distance between 1000 ft and 1500 ft, depending on Q and H. Quadrantal rule, this rule applies to IFR flights in the UK both in and outside of controlled airspace except that such aircraft may be flown at a level other than required by this rule if flying in conformity with instructions given by an air traffic control unit, or if complying with notified en route holding patterns or holding procedures notified in relation to an aerodrome. The rule affects only those aircraft operating under IFR when in level flight above 3000 EFT above mean sea level, or above the appropriate transition altitude, whichever is the higher, and when below floor 195, the rule is non-binding upon flights operating under VFR. Minimum vertical separation between two flights abiding by the UK quadrantal rule is 500 EFT. The level to be flown is determined by the magnetic track of the aircraft, as follows, magnetic track 0002, and including, 089 a degree a euro odd thousands of feet, magnetic track 0902, and including, 179 a degree a euro odd thousands plus 500 EFT, magnetic track 182, and including, 269 a degree a euro even thousands of feet, magnetic track 272, and including, 359 a degree a euro even thousands plus 500 a ft semicircular hemispheric rule versions of this apply to ifr in the uk inside controlled airspace and generally in the rest of the world the semicircular rule applies in slightly different fashion in all of the world including in the uk inside controlled airspace the standard rule defines an east west track split Eastbound a euro magnetic track 000 to 179 a degree a euro odd thousands, westbound a euro magnetic track 180 to 359 a degree a euro even thousands, at floor 290 and above, if reduced vertical separation minimal are not in use, 4000 EFT intervals are used to separate same direction aircraft, and only odd flight levels are assigned, depending on the direction of flight. Eastbound a euro magnetic track 000 to 179. A degree a euro odd flight levels, westbound a euro magnetic track 180 to 359. A degree a euro odd flight levels, countries where the major airways are oriented north south have semicircular rules that define a north south rather than an east west track split. In Italy and Portugal, for example, southbound traffic uses odd flight levels. In New Zealand, Southbound traffic uses even flight levels. In Europe, a commonly used ICAO separation levels as per the following table reduced vertical separation minima. Reduced vertical separation minima reduces the vertical separation above floor 290 to 1000 FT. This allows aircraft to safely fly more optimum routes, gain fuel savings, and increase airspace capacity by adding new flight levels. Only aircraft that have been certified to meet RVSM standards, with several exclusions, are allowed to fly in RVSM airspace. It was introduced in the UK in March 2001. On January 20, 2002, it entered European airspace. The United States, Canada and Mexico transitioned to a VSM between floor 290 and FL 410 on January 20, 2005 and Africa on September 25, 2008. Track 000 to 179 a degree a euro odd thousands, track 180 to 359 a degree a euro even thousands, at floor 410 and above, 4000 EFT intervals are resumed to separate same direction aircraft and only odd flight levels are assigned, depending on the direction of flight, track 000 to 179 a degree a euro odd flight levels, Track 180 to 359 a degree a euro odd flight levels, metric flight levels, China, Mongolia, Russia and many CIS countries have used flight levels specified in meters for years. Aircraft entering these areas normally make a slight climb or descent to adjust for this, although Russia and some CIS countries started using feet above transition altitude and introduced RVSM at the same time on November 17, 2011. Mongolia, North Korea, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, 
Tajikistan and Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan, the flight levels below apply to Mongolia, North Korea, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan and 6,000 m or below in Turkmenistan. Flight levels are read as for example flight level 7,500 meters. People's Republic of China, the flight levels below apply to People's Republic of China, not including Hong Kong. To distinguish flight levels in feet, flight levels are read without flight level, for example 1 2600 meters, or in Chinese A to the first A, or A to the first A A Florin unregistered trademark 3 quarters C plus or minus cubed for 12600 M. RVSM implement in China at 1600 UTC November 21, 2007. The aircraft fly and feet according to the table below will have differences between the metric readout of the inboard avionics and ATC cleared flight level, however the differences will never be more than 30 meters. Flight levels in Russian Federation On September 5, 2011, the government of the Russian Federation issued a decree of minus 743, pertaining to the changes in the rules of use of the country's airspace. The new rules came into force on November 17, 2011, introducing a flight level system similar to the one used in the West. RVSM has also been in force since this date. The following table is true for IFR flights. The new system would eliminate the need to perform climbs and descents in order to enter or leave Russian airspace. See also, Flight Planning, References